If you say you love me, I'll stay forever. Day I think of you. When, when, every night I dream of you. Well, well. <laughs> Where are you dreaming of? Oh, father. Eh? Father? In heaven? She showed him a way to love me, Jeje. Did you see Sharpie there? Yes, wow. so. Babe forever. from the outset, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay, taking you back in time is what we offer on days like this. Yep. Because it is Thursday and it's all about the throwback vibes. Yes, guys, if you are a lover of old school music, then you're in for a nostalgic ride this afternoon. Trust us, <laughs> you're going to love it. You're yes, going to be like, wow. <laughs> on that note, we say welcome to another episode of TBT. Yeah. Aka okay, Throwback Thursday, Thursday right here on East Splash. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Royal Highness of the Planets. I go by the name King OJ. But well, you, you can call me OJ. That's it's what it is. Uh, it says uh, what uh, it uh, is. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, uh. They don't they wrap my lines, Jason. Give me this. Sorry. Nah, Jason, not Jason. You know, like. It's from Spain. That, 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 that was it. Let's just move on. Exactly. Yeah. You're very smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's your home girl right here. It's your girlfriend next door. It's the jewel in the crown. That is the hostess of the mistress. My name is Honey Boss, but you know what? You can call me Honey Pizzo for Shizzle. How about that besides? <laughs> Amanda, I don't invent Honey Pizzo. Too. Like, on, on no, it's still my honey name. Pea. So I don't know. I don't on get Tuesday, it. Says honey P. Now today's no, so regularly you find people call me different things. So some people call me honey, some people say honey, yeah, like, honey. Yeah, like, yeah. like and then some people go honey pee. And some people go honey shizzle for pizza. So I mean, yeah. Or, How much you be paying like, us to be No, they just do it on their own, like it comes naturally. So that's it. I mean Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, let's hear Arike's one today. Guys, my name is Arike, and I'm the one with the joke. Why, so <laughs> Why are you not creative? Why are you not? I must give you a name. Not creative. I must give you some. Together, I am what? Arike 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 All right, so I'll give, you, I'll give you some. Amen. 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 You're really Hallelujah. fly. Fly girl. How about that? I don't huh? kiss that name. No, no, fly girl. Fly boy no, kiss. No, 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 fly girl. Like Queen Latifah. Fly no. girl. In Nigeria, they say it's fly girl, and Amanda is his dad. Kenny. Yeah. Amanda, I don't want. I don't Amanda, want to find Amanda. Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. If she likes, she should go and look for Amanda. And Amanda and kiss Danny. <laughs> no. Boy. Today, this one is like girl. Okay, this is like girl. Yeah, today. she's looking fly like that. Yeah? All right. Okay, so on today's episode. <laughs> why are you jealous? OJ is a hater, born hater. <laughs> why are you jealous? All right, so guys, <laughs> on today's episode, ah, Kelo Shene, I don't like. <laughs> I'm not going to mind him. On today's episode, <laughs> we have the entertainment news as usual. So every two birthday shout out. <laughs> then we'll be rewinding to this day in entertainment history. Yes, guys. And I will be in charge of taking us through all the crazy moments on social media. And that is on Tweetview. Right after that one, and one of us will be ranting on what's currently bugging him or our on Chew It Up segment. We'll also be taking the news recap, checking out where are they now. And OJ. Yes, and of course, on today's Daily Top 5, we'll be talking about five throwback fun games. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelt <laughs> as the nostalgic ride begins. Zoom, zoom. I'm the driver. We're the driver. You want to drive us? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My Lord, we no be go while we go make this money. It can be, it can be like a, like a song for. For what? Who are you referring to singing this song? I'm just saying, like, if to say not just me, I will not have all just stressing me out, and we won't have men that has come. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the entertainment news. Uh, yes, moving on from that craziness, <gasps> Ray J and Princess Love call up their divorce again. Ah, love and hip-hop couple Ray J and Princess Love have called off their divorce proceeding for the second time. According to do um, court documents, the off-and-on couple have filed to dismiss their ongoing divorce. If you would recall, Princess Love first filed for a dissolution of the marriage back in May last year. But months later, she filed to dismiss the divorce. However, Ray J ended up filing his own set of divorce papers. Yes, speaking on this new development, Ray J has come out to say that he and Princess were currently in a good place and that they may possibly 
possibly move their family to Miami. He stated, and I quote, we are going to move down to Miami. I don't think we're going to come back to LA anytime soon. We have just been in a very positive place and we've been taking care of the kids. The kids love it out. Yeah. So this is very exhausting, honestly. and I don't think that it is our business because <laughs> I just don't like people who are Why are you doing that? Who have disorder, uh, yeah. you know, or uh, ailments. Or no, that's not what it is now. No, 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 no. Because no. I love filed. Oh, and um, baby, why will you do that? Why will you do that? Okay, she now dismissed it. And then Ray J, he wants know, to be petty. Enough. Oh yeah. And I'm not doing it again. So it's so it's me for me. That's why I want to say that I'm very sure that knowing Ray J and seeing the, how he's like his evolution in love and hip hop, I know it is petty. So he probably did this to make us see that me to happy do him, or it's just a one-one situation. Wait. Because honestly, what could have happened between that time yeah. to now? It was he just wanted to prove a point and show okay. her that he's also petty. Okay. I don't know how man can be fine like this and pettiness will fool your mind. Wait, wait, not, wait, wait, wait. Why, 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 why are you putting this on Ray J alone? What are you talking about? Please, I'm going to face it. If you're not cheating, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are being petty. You are being mm. a child. The, the, being... It just said you were sorry you about that Las Vegas thing. Do you know what funny thing? I beg. Do you know I stumbled what? on <laughs> keeping up with the Kardashians? Yeah. And then <laughs> Kim's sister was talking to Kim and they were just suggesting names of something he. and then keep um this is that just said Ray J. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was startled and then I now looked at Kim's face. I wasn't seeing the exchange. Like, she didn't say anything you? but she was how dare and then you? they now like, moved on. Like, but that was okay. very mischievous like yeah. how dare you like, in case you don't know and you're wondering how is Kim Kardashian and Ray J yeah it all started yeah. from the tape <laughs> That was where Kim's, you know, evolution too started from. She had a sex tape. After their yeah. mini, um, you yeah. know, featuring in OJ Simpson's life and yeah. fame. Yeah, yeah. Then that was what, where it started What from. if all of this thing that Princess Love and Ray J are doing is just for Stunt. the Love and Hip Hop show? It could be, actually. Well, it, it could, could be. be content. And for me, it's interesting. Because they content. have their own show, too. That they, yeah. are, they have, aside size Love and Hip Hop, they have something that so they So, as you said earlier, so Ray J has always been this person. It's for content. Everything are content. Everything are content. But he needs to me. grow, Sha. He is grown. He's a big he boy. He still needs to grow. Like, I'm saying up. Yeah. He is grown. No. I thought he had changed, actually. He has then. changed. He Why are you people putting this on him? It doesn't seem like he has. He's a boss. He runs his own uh, tech company. He has reality shows. He's that a producer. That doesn't mean you have grown has... mentally and emotionally. You need to grow up. Why? There's some people that are really successful and they cannot handle simple human relationship, interpersonal relationships, where... let alone family or you know, marriage he... or, really, or proper romantic relationships. Why is the only Ray that is getting these hits? What about Princess Love? No, it yeah, takes two to tango. Uh -huh. Anyway. Yeah, Thank but Ray needs a, to do more. Okay. But really. Oh, okay, wow. let's move on. <laughs> Demi Lovato talks near-death experience after drug overdose. Mm -hmm. American actress and singer Demi Lovato has come out to reveal shocking details regarding our drug overdose in 2018 that almost took her life. She made all this known in our new docu-series, Dancing with the Devil, on YouTube. Take a look at part of the documentary. I, I actually don't think people realize how bad it actually was. Demi Lovato, however, went to rehab after being released from the hospital and has been in recovery since. Uh, <sighs> this is a lot, actually. It's a lot. Yeah, we talked about this drug addiction Being yesterday. yesterday. Mm -hmm. and, a lot. It's and crazy. to think people, we see cases <laughs> of death. We hear stories now. She has come out to tell her story. Mm -hmm. And it's still something that is rampant. People are still doing all of this. It's just crazy, man. I remember, I remember when we heard about the Demi Lovato one, I was like, what? Mm -hmm. Again, it's actually shocking. Yeah. It's shocking, and it's a lot, especially with the fact that you know she would not be herself again. She would not be able to yeah. do something yeah. forever yeah. and ever. And uh, it's just such an interest. Or should I? It, it's such. You know how people? I don't know. Where do I even start from? Because I'm looking at how to talk to people mm -hmm. that you know you, you can't put, you, you can't break their head and put stuff into their head like mm -hmm. don't do this. But I'm like, we can see results. We can see this happening to yeah. people uh did i tell you that one year like that it, it's been a while i went to i just went to chill at some place where they had swimming pool and so these young people just came in as you, we saw them their, their parents was not even good and they had different things on their tables <laughs> they had um uh, this syrup students. this syrup and uh, they had different different they had to work them out because that place Everywhere was not meant for, for that kind, that of, kind of stuff and they felt they were cool 
and they were feeling like cool kids and the it's whole thing cool. was just it's, actually... it's not cool in any way yeah. in any way this thing it has the uh, immediate uh, gratification like it takes you to or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then afterwards the it destroys effects. you mm -hmm. it destroys you and it comes with a lot of yeah, side effects yeah. I, I i watched some parts of this docu series and the assistant was narrating her own side like when she saw demi lovato unconscious the mindset was make the call fast but because she's a celebrity yeah. oh don't make the call she now said no this person is actually dying okay make the call but and tell the people. tell the people coming to not blow siren because so that people will not start suspecting that something, something is happening at them. On, yeah. And she was like, no, this is actually an emergency. So that celeb live, like, oh, don't, don't let us loud it. Let's do it low key. That if she had done it low key, it would have been another thing. Like she said, if mm. it was five minutes or 10 minutes after Later. her assistance, she would have died. it would have been a wrap. I'm so happy for her live right now. Mm -hmm. um, she performed at the Joe Biden yeah. inauguration. I was super excited because you I love her, her super talented singer. Um, she performed last year at the Grammys too. Mm -hmm. It's so good to see that she's back on her she's feet. So and young of course, she, was, doing, she was talking about stroke, talking it's, about. It's, 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 so people like her, we talked about Arena Grande, people that had fame when they were little. So to now, to now, so yeah, yeah, so from little, you're already popular, so all those kind of things. I thing. know, okay, look at Whitney Houston. Because she did Bunny and Friends. Look at Whitney Houston, look at Whitney Houston's daughter, look at Whitney Houston's, uh, you no. know, um, um, Bobby uh, Christina, Bobby Nick, Christina? Nick, Nick Gordon Nick that was dating, Bobby Chris, then Bobby, Bobby Brown, Brown Jr. Son. Can, can Even Justin Bieber that kind of like cut up, you know, halfway yeah. in his teenage years, still, still affects him. Something is, is still well. dealing with. It's, it's it's sad, but then I'm grateful that she's good now. Yeah, she's fine. Sharing a story. And I hope that you know a lot people. of people that are in this situation can just watch this. And I mean, a lot of other people that have gone through this would be willing to share their stories. This would, um, you know, um, help to. Yeah. Change a lot of things in the in in the time that this new generation they feel like if you're doing cool, certain things cool. you're not cool yeah. you're you yeah this you're a dead guy you're whatever it is but hearing from the survivors it you would help you and then all. also there's some docu series out there too about you know transforming people that you catch on the, that you see on the streets you know yeah, to so too. becoming yeah so if you watch things like that I feel like you understand where they're coming from and I I also. Be, for me, I think that the, the fact that there's a bit of, you know, confidentiality thing going on, if we have yeah. people also do like Let some people sort know of, that see how crazy this what is it is on though. the inside, like this is how much you have to go through if you're trying to get up, like get over this thing. Mm. Maybe it would help them not understand it, it and not even bother doing, doing it. it. Like, and the fact that you know that some cool. celebrities even take this just to be able to like face the crowd and all that. So it's, I think that if it comes to confidence, you can always just work on yourself. Like yeah. it, it does not have to get to that level of, okay, so there's that you would have been and all that. I mean, we can go on and on talking yeah, about this, but that crazy, is man. all we can take on entertainment news. Yep. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Celebrity Birthday shout out. First up in alphabetical order, we have Adewale Ayuba. Oh, it's Yay. a year older today. <laughs> Is a Nigerian singer known for singing Fuji music. He has since been crowned as the king of Bonsue Fuji, as he was the original artist who coined the musical genre as a subgenre of Fuji music. <laughs> 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 I'm versatile like, like that. If it's Korean music, no, if it's yeah. Chinese music, <laughs> <laughs> if it's Latino music. Go <laughs> 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 sit down. I, I sit listen down. to BTS with Korean. I listen to Latino music, my people. I listen to Fuji, your people. I listen you to. You said your people. Okay, moving on. Also you're celebrated your, your today. Your people. Uh, also, also celebrated today, ladies and gentlemen. We have Betty Rabo, who is 64. <laughs> She is a Nigerian columnist, philanthropist, writer, publisher, and founder of Genevieve Magazine. Superwoman. Happy birthday. Superwoman. Superwoman. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Also celebrated today, we have Big Sean, who is 33. Wow. He's an American rapper, singer, and songwriter, and uh, apparently dating Jeannie Aiko. Off and I on, know. off and on, but they are cool now. This is cute. Used to date Arena Grande. 
Wow. They're so cute together. Who else again? Me and Ginny are so yeah, cute they're so together. Cute like, oh, love. I know. Like, they're tiny leaves together. I'm just like, wow. oh my God. What's that? Their baby's going to be so cute, cute. Okay, let's focus. Happy birthday, Big Happy, Happy birthday, birthday. Big Shot. <laughs> also celebrate today, we have Elton John, who is 74. Elton John. Yes, yes the award-winning <laughs> English singer, songwriter, pianist, and composer has sold more than 300 million records, making him one of the best-selling music artists. Because I was hmm. like, it wasn't complete if you didn't yeah, say if I did Sir Elton John. Because it's a night. Yeah, yeah. Sir Elton, Elton John. John. Yeah. Yep. Happy birthday, <laughs> sir. Elton John. Yeah. <laughs> also celebrate today, we have Catherine McPhee, who is 37 today. She is an American actress, singer, and songwriter. You might rem remember her as a runner-up on the fifth season of American Idol. Super Happy talented singer. Super talented. Happy birthday, yeah. Kathy. Happy birthday. <laughs> we also have Lance Alonzo, who is 47 today. Yay! Yay! The American film and television actor is popular for playing to stay in James Cameron's science fiction film Avatar and Fennis Calderon in the film Fast, Fast and, and Furious. Furious. Happy birthday. Now that there's a new Avatar, will they bring mm -hmm. all these people back? Mm. But, but you're looking forward to seeing the Actually, new Definitely, right. definitely, yeah. definitely. Mm. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Also celebrate today, we have Masha Cross, who is 59. The American actress began a career on daytime soap operas such as The Edge of Night, Another World, and One Life to Leave before moving to primetime television. She's very popular, very, very popular for her role on Desperate, Desperate Housewives. Housewives. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. That's what they were saying. What are you talking about? A lot of people are celebrating today. Yeah, honestly. Are you celebrating today? Yes, I'm celebrating the name of yes. Jesus. Every it's day birthday, it's birthday, I'm talking <laughs> about. The Nigerian, the Nigerian, you, the Nigerian, you, you just came out. Am I celebrating? Ah, by the power in the most, I will celebrate every day. Okay. Ah, um, I will jubilate. Okay, let's now, move on. Wow. Yeah, let's move on to celebrity birthday. birthday. Let's continue. Yeah. Okay. Okay, also celebrate today, we have Sarah Jessica Parker, who is 56 today. Oh. Yeah. The American actress, producer, and designer is well known for her role as Carrie Bradshaw on the HBO television series and film Sex and the City, for which she won two Emmy Awards, four Golden Globe Awards for Best Actress in a Comedy Series, and three Screen Actors Guild Awards. Ooh. Huge, huge, oh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. huge. Sarah Jessica yeah, Parker. That's right. Super Ooh. talented. Happy birthday. Happy uh, birthday. Yeah, wrapping it up, we have Yakubu Muhammad, who is 48 today. The Nigerian film actor, producer, director, scriptwriter, and shockingly, he is a singer, is well recognized in the Carnival mm -hmm. um, of Nollywood. Yeah, so that's the yeah, Northern, cool. yes. the yeah, Northern yeah, Nollywood. Yeah. And he said she's because when they need yeah, anybody, and, yeah, so he know. does that. Then and he will still, still do, to, yeah. 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 He did, he did Lion Hearts. He did um, Sugar series. Um, he, he has done a couple of Nollywood ones, and long yeah, long that's right. Super talented. Happy birthday! Mm -hmm. ha happy birthday to everyone celebrating today. We're sending you love, Cheer. life, Cheer. peace, Cheer. money Cheer. from OJ <laughs> and Annie Pons because they got the moolah. <laughs> and I'm sending you kisses in burnt orange. On behalf of Amanda. Oh, that's the color. Bunt orange. No, no color. <laughs> Guys, please, we'll be back after this break. Keep it locked. <laughs> Let's rewind. On this day in 1988, women on the verge of a nervous breakdown, a film written and directed by Pedro Almodovar, starring Carmen Mora and Antonio Banderas, is released. And in 2001, at the 73rd Academy Awards, Gladiator, Russell Crowe and Julia Roberts win. Finally, in 2015, still on this day, British musician Zayn Malik announces he's leaving the band One Direction. And that's it on Rewind. Watch, 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 watch this. Well, now all of them, Mr. Normal Last, yeah. we miss you so much. Miss definitely, you. Definitely. Definitely. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm.
Okay, mm -hmm. are you ready? Yeah. For what? This is Tweetville, mm -hmm. where we bring you all the craziness, mm -hmm. savagery, mm -hmm. humor, mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. Especially that place that bed is flying, Twitter. Twitter. It's a place. Ah, so what's that sound like? Birds tweeting? Yeah. So yeah, welcome to Tweetville. OJ, close your mouth. It's just, she's fast. <laughs> Close your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's my vintage dream. <laughs> my vintage dream. Welcome. I like your waka eh. Moving on. Alrighty. Nothing more terrifying in a Yoruba home than when your mother brings this back from the market. Why? This is what we call, I don't know what they call it in English, but it's called a way do. It is jute. J U T E. That's the English name. <laughs> Jute. 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 Yes, that's the English. Jute. Okay, they say it's jute, but please, hello? It's a wedu. You said it's a wedu. For those that eat amala, it's not like green thing that if we used to say it's green thing, it's not green thing, it's a draw soup. It's, it's vegetable. Okay, imagine you go to the restaurant and say, give me, give me stew and eba and jute. <laughs> Oh, the jilt. No, jilt no. Soup. You no, said no, no. you don't know what is called in English. And yeah. I said, let me. I'm going to ask so you me. can imagine you're not going to No, there. it is a way do an amala. Like it's just no, like you know, know that beja I is beja. You know point, beja. I will record that moment. I'm going yeah. to ask you. Mufe amala. Begiri. And jilt. Well, you jilt. No, give me juice. Juice. Super juice. It's a mamala. Oh, no. Or you're going to beggar and you say, Beja, you are going to sleep there, but <laughs> it, the real sense is Julius Beja. But then you say Beja, well, you better want to sleep. Let's Beja go back to is Jude. there. Oh, Beja is highlighting. <laughs> Connect. I'm gonna highlight at Beja. Well, what? You Beja Lucky. That's where you're going. <laughs> Beja. You see this thing called Ewedu? Sorry, Jude. I ate it. Why? Wow. In everything we do in this okay. life, I eat it, but don't bring it near me. Anything that I have to sit down, let it be in sort of things. Oh, too big. It. To pick this one, once Momsi comes back, and I well, see you this must thing, everything. you have to pluck everything. And it's not like vegetable where we say if you pluck the stem, yeah, yeah, it's no. You know, this one, I just leave. You guys, they very, you know, well, strategic. That's a, of, that's a lot of work, man. Yes. So that's why when I see my mother come back from the market and I see this, just this, sleep. But do you know, as an adult, I still do all these things. You the see, one I shall don't like, it's a spilling of beans. But you said that that one is. But you see, I still do. Of beans is I still the do all this. Uh, we do. Compared I still to pick picking beans. beans. No, picking is. I still pick beans, actually. And I. That one is I'm punish. Very, that one no, is punishment, like now. Because I don't look, even want to put look, my. They'll give you more delicate of beans. Go and pick. That's punishment. I beans. still do it. I. I've Should we bring beans for you to be picking for us? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just to buy packaged beans. Based that they are packaged. They don't pick them, they don't do everything. Yeah. So if I need to peel it, I just soak it. If I need to do my mind to yeah. I just soak it. Down. I just go to bed like two and I just soak it down. I don't cry. By the time I wake up, it's in the That one, I used to pay them in the market it. to do for me. The one I ate is okra too. I ate that okra. But you have to do it because that there is a certain way I like it. Notes. I don't like to grate my okra. I, I like used to, to buy it. the grated one. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. No. So Mandela the Stallion says, someone took back his original charger from Misha after he asked me out and I said, I thought we were friends. <laughs> What were you thinking? We're moving on. The only Jesse that's at the room case says, El Lamao. When you put me Lamao. El Lamao. Lamao. Person removed me from Netflix because I said I couldn't date him. Huh? When I asked, he said I can't be enjoying free stuff. Netflix too fine. <laughs> no, I have to put respect on it. It's not for K. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Go and buy your own. Go and buy your go on, own. Go on, go on. Oh, wait, my ex is too connected to my Netflix. Eh? Yeah. You just thought about it. I just thought about it. Because when I open, I'm like, I'm seeing his name. Um, I'm gonna disconnect you, bro. I know you're watching. I'm gonna disconnect what you. What if he's not watching? If somebody yeah, we tell him. Okay. Somebody's always watching to go and tell him. So I will disconnect. So, nah, so, but that'll be petty. I don't need it. So, yeah. I don't need it. I don't need it. That's day day. How much is 4K? But see you the do name. But see the name. You did mess up. But you know. No, 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 be big. Move on. No, they stress me. Why are you not stressing us? Why are you telling us? No, be big. No, be big. I beg face. And but you're stressing the tweet view. Thanks. Moving on to the next one. Furo semi day. Is it Furo? It's okay, it's okay. Uh, Medical Zero says, taking bad gifts from your partner isn't something I'm going to be found doing. But I'm still going to blame folks who do it. I'm still not going to blame folks who do it. Okay. We get that. That's being petty, so mm -hmm. I want to disconnect you. Kalio Irumole Wei says, person buy me shoe. We break up. I begin find shoe. <laughs> oh. I just said, I may move on. Till I jump she and her new boyfriend for town. He wear the shoe. Ah! 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 So let's not wake up, okay? Oh, no, 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 no
I mean, or you just if, So maybe, for example, now this brother is wearing 43. If my next boyfriend is wearing 42, I'll buy a shoe pad. <laughs> I balance it. <laughs> No, this is not this is not, this is not cool. You'll not see you'll not see your shoe. OJ, if you do any you but, see any, I move my shoes. But that reminds Sorry. me, oh, I dated somebody that actually returned stuff that I gave him. Well, I so let me tell you, when I was stupid in the life before, really? my first boyfriend and, and I got returned all the things they gave me. Now I look at it, I regret it. See, two of us, we dated. It's okay. You give me something, I give you something. Keep oh, it. Wow. We'll keep it. It's always been very funny don't, to me. Don't let it. To my and Empress. Uh, yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. don't let no, me catch you. Ca <laughs> that one is cat. To my collected this cat from Empress. But honestly, after this whole um, this thing, but it was issue, a struggle, Sha. The first date questions that we need to be asking now. Please do <laughs> collect <laughs> it. <laughs> No, they will say you, no. You? No, they will say no at that point. It is when they everything will be gets dirty. No, they will sign. <laughs> they will sign. No, it all depends on gifts. I'm going to smell loser. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm. So somebody says, my oh, girlfriend God. said I can't interact uh, with females uh, on the timeline uh, anymore. Uh, Read very well. You see those pictures <laughs> in capital letter? DM me. Who, who, who leaked the secret, by the way? DM me. If you don't know, I'm moving on. Okay. So, on the timeline, you will not see comments anymore, but yeah, yeah, in the DM, you go down in the DM. Let's move on, let's move on. I like it. I like Sub the style people have been using these days. Like, they put something in the middle. Don't and leak all these secrets. In the middle, you know? Don't leak all these secrets. Right. Move on. Because it's still Ronaldo. Please, don't be lazy. I'm be, be reading everything you see now. Stop. No, some people are not just smart. Actually, they won't still get it. So, I you telling you, not get <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hello, see me see table says, if you're told not to leave your bed in the morning until your lover calls your phone, what time are you getting out? It'll be like 12 oh. Hey. <laughs> time on the show. Ah, it made me remember one bad day like that. My boyfriend that I was dating called me at 3 p.m. Was he dating you? <laughs> hey, if you see <laughs> oh. 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 yeah. do you know that my ex already engaged me since 12 a.m. Like, uh, happy birthday, and they already brought gifts for me from him. That's, yeah, so. that is, the, that is the one. Yeah, and so, I was busy falling in love with all. all <laughs> so, right now, would you call your ex at 12 midnight to wish them a happy birthday? Yes, man. Would you? Because I'm awake, no. because I'm awake, so, no, yeah. No, but the thing is that now that we are grown, well, I still do because it's another day, but yeah. now that we are grown, I don't, I don't see some things as, so far, you... In fact, you might even still be with that person. Maybe you were with that person till mm -hmm. you went home the previous yeah. day, sir. But then it's not as if you don't still send messages and all that. But I do, do you not... need to greet them. Happy no, birthday. I don't think it is because it's no big deal. It's no big deal. You need to greet your ex, happy birthday. You're petty. I know ex, I became... I, eh, ex, eh, ex. Eh, like... No, that one just did it. But me, ex, kilo shelle. Where I say odaro, oh, I don't say good morning again. Why are you people you know, fancy? No, you not be safe way and they fight the person. But uh, uh, what if the person is already dating another person? You're not going to be wishing you for what? Just called happy birthday. I think I did not even hear that thing very well. Okay, sorry. Uh, for what? Please sorry. remove. What time are you getting out of bed? Uh, uh, because of the t um, difference in the time zone. Oh. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> now I think I will start vexing, and it's not my business. Oh, Benny, damn low. Time is going. I, I, I don't have anyone. I don't Olympus, have... what time? <laughs> I don't even know. What time? These two ass come. <laughs> oh, yeah, you. When will you get up? I already said it. I wake up at 12. Oh, because... And at the time where the show, they start. So, me, I'll be jobless. <laughs> you know, if you work. So, that relationship, you see, you guys move. <laughs> Moving on. Ah, this telephone. I we love are this one. I love it's it. Is it how we block people in the 90s? Just, just, remove, just remove it. Just remove it from the hook. No stress. Just remove it from the hook. Movie. The line will just be doing engage, 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 engage. Nice. But so now, but now, block but now it's easier. Yeah, you just go block, block, block. I just click block. block. I'm moving on. Okay, so this, I saw this picture yesterday. This is Justin Bieber and this guy, Usina, or Usina. He says, I look like Justin Bieber. Hey? All I told him said, he really thought he could just put two pictures of Bieber. We wouldn't notice. Then they want you, my guy. <laughs> That he went, my guy. But you start from the lips and the nose. Hmm. He really looks like Justin Bieber. How does he look like Justin? Can't you see Justin Bieber has no standing? This one is lying down. Why? Why do? You, why do people do this? Like full lips. Mm -hmm. Justin Bieber has tiny lips. You are looking at. You need glasses. Are you wearing your contacts? No, you are not seeing no, it. Okay, we are seeing it. Why is it like okay. the No, no, it's okay. They look alike. Have you got the wear two two shades? Free my guy, no. okay, my guy so. just. Moving on to the next yeah. one. Uh. Oh, I saw this. It's so cute. It says now my wife.
has added some pointless stuff before, but this tops it, a bed washing sponge holder. I can do this. Wait. Oh, wow. Just because I find it cute. What, is that a regular sponge? Yes. You get. On a bed. That's not a bed. That's not a bed. It's cute, uh, right? So you will not use it to wash? I will. I'll take off the pillows, wash, and put it back. I like... And like, you arrange the pillow back? We call it caramel. Who like it caramel? Wait. I like it. It's and after cute. each usage, you arrange the pillow back? Yes, definitely. You already know that. <sighs> okay. Like, it's so cute. Yeah, I don't know why you're hating. I agree with you. It's pointless, but yeah, let's move on. Just it's pointless. <laughs> me. I am a female and it is pointless. It's me. not pointless. Yeah, yeah, it's cute. Nonsense. It makes the, the oh. aesthetic of the kitchen look nice. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Good cheek ice cream. Evans said one of us says, graduate of accounting, but you can't tell when your partner is losing interest. Whoa! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! I want to follow you! Oh. I like this. What? I like what? this. I like yeah. this. I like what? this. I like What? He entered gadget of accounting, but what? you can't say when your partner is losing interest. Please, at this stage, I just, I just yes. want to bow down. I'm yeah. done. Yeah, I'm done. That, that, uh, okay. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, wow. See, thank you. It's too wow. much. Ah. Uh, you know, thank you. Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, mesmerize me. Yeah. We'll yeah. see yeah. you guys in the second half of the show. <laughs> wow, that's it. He entered. <laughs> Mm. Ah, ah, oh, Jane, I even use. <laughs> we said we'll see you at the second minute now. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> we had to take one minute, you know, silence for that to just sink in. <laughs> we'll see you guys at the second half of the show. Stay here with us. Woo. Welcome back to the second half of the show. So far, we have brought you entertainment news, celebrity birthday shout outs, rewind, <coughs> sweet deal. Now it's time to chew it off. Where one of us will vent on what's bothering him or her. And um, I'm good. <laughs> Peace be unto you. I'm not an angry queen, I'm a dancing queen, but I just have one or two things to say. Shoot. Are you getting me? Yeah. I just feel like, um, honestly, there's really no need to be afraid to set boundaries. Um, people would say that, oh, you're uptight, you're this, you're that, but then just do what works for you. Because the honest truth is, if you feel like you just want to welcome everybody into your space because you want them to see you as a nice person, <coughs> you want them to see you as a good person, you want them to think you're very friendly and whatnot, my dad will always say that, um, a person who a lot of people like is not being genuine with themselves mm -hmm. and a person that a lot of people do not like actually are the that like they're the truest people and growing up I never understood it but right now it makes a lot of sense people are still gonna say whatever it is that they want to say that. you may have more people on your side you know saying you're a nice person oh you're selfless you're this I'm not saying you shouldn't you know be selfless with the people that you love and all that but Stay true to yourself. I was talking to a friend yesterday, and she was talking about a lot of things that had happened in a friendship with someone. And I was just like, from the first thing she told me, why? You it, just, uh, cut this person off. Like, it's, it's, it's not you being mean. It's not you being mm -hmm. wicked. It's not you being hostile towards them. It's just you protecting your space, mm -hmm. protecting your the peace. Sometimes I tell people, the moment I'm not friends with you any longer, I would not follow you on social media. Why am I following you? I don't need to mute you. I think that muting people is for, you know, cowards. If you can't, if, you, if I don't want to see your post, I would unfollow you. I don't think it's childish. I think it is you just knowing what works for you and respecting your space and saying, look, when I see this person's post, I get triggered. It gets this sudden negative. I get the sudden, um, you know, um, reaction, right. negative reaction. So I'm better off not seeing your post. Um, and if I see that, I see you too much on Explore. Mm -hmm. I will block you completely. It's not, I don't hate you. Honestly speaking, I will see you on the street and I'll say hello to you. If you decide to respond, fine. If you don't respond, that's okay. But I know that I have protected my space. I don't want to see your post and get triggered and get upset and whatnot. Like, life is too short for that. And... Nah, just build boundaries, set boundaries. See, boundaries only scare people that are, you know, that won't come into your life to mess you up. 
So for example, if you give me a job and I say that, look, you have to give me a contract before I do this job, and you're making it seem like I'm being uptight, you are, that means you're actually coming to mess me up. Mm -hmm. So if you can't do the right thing, then please be gone. Let's be, let's, the ones that will come and give me the job that will take me to the next level and do the right thing will come through. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared to set boundaries. Set the boundary. Mm. Okay. Ha! Interesting stuff. Uh, it's um, I like the fact that um, you said um, something like, do you? I mean, mm -hmm. I've never even had any problems with certain boundaries that people who know me know. Yeah. If I'm people on this show, even will know. Like, yeah, I can be very civil and I'm saying, hey, hi, hi. And everything. But then I might not do certain things. things. Mm -hmm. And I, I, for one, I don't. Maybe some people are always care. They care about what people would say and all about that. that yeah. um, I, I really don't know how to pretend because it is when I want to pretend. You will catch me. <laughs> No, you will catch me away. No, if you, something everything. will just give me away. Yeah. Because before you, even he, at this level of all, you said that my face is always like this. They say I have one kind of face like that, but because it has one word in it, I don't know. So that's that's my resting mm -hmm, face. Like that's whether you can be my friend and walking, I yeah. can still have that face. That's how mm -hmm. my face is. Do you understand? So I've never had any problems with that. And I think that push it. And as you said, life is too short to, to be harboring certain Toxic stuff people. and be here yeah. and all that. But then the world is still a beautiful place and we still need people to exist True. at the end of the day. But the thing is that anything that does not give you peace, anything that steals your away. peace of mind. We should just do it ah, away with it. And, you know, yeah. Make it's you true. know they just not be mad away, so, away, away. But yeah, that's you are healthy, saying. healthy yes. and healthy. Not that you not see that person, you're minding. Even people like <laughs> what the was very poor. You are just a man. Even when you think that I'm keeping my, I mean, I've told myself that you don't exist. If you like, put your head, put it down, put your two legs. I will pass between kilo come. <laughs> Okay, that's not that's not the that's a, that's not the sound right now. Yeah, because it's not your because your brain your head is like this. Your leg out, but yeah. So you know that the, you are supposed to be like this as a human. So if you like, be already a kumbi so as like kumbi so we just go cast okay. I will still pass. I will pass through you. No, so we have. This thing sounds. You know, and in doing okay. this, there I, I want you to understand that there is no hate. No, no hate. There is no, no hate. hate. No. You are just doing what works for you. There are thousands of people that I don't follow. That don't follow me. But when I see them on the street, I say hello to them. The ones that respond fine. If you don't respond, the first three times I greet you, I don't respond. Me too. I'll keep my saliva to my pocket because. The work where they do now saliva, you know. So <laughs> no, the bottom line is it. peace of mind is Thank very, you. very important. Your peace of mm -hmm. mind matters. Mm -hmm. You have to be healthy and honestly. That's it. Be, you, you, can I do do you, be you, do you <laughs> for you. Not the left people stress you. Only part you've stopped you've stopped motivating on Thursday. Uh, so this, I'm I'm trying. Thank you so much. But you know, you're I'm not that guy. Hey, I'm not that guy. I no, but OJ they, is that guy uh, on Instagram. Okay, yeah. OJ will put up one post and put one dead quote and say, you know, the reason pizza on, is that doesn't on, even match up on. with the picture. Moving on. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news, in case you missed it earlier. Yes, we talked about this one. Ray J and Princess Love call off their divorce again. I mean, the doctor talks near-death experience after drug overdose. Crazy, man. Oh, very crazy. We'll be back shortly to find out uh, which artists we are shining our spotlight on, to, on today's uh, Where Are They Now? Stay hey. tuned. Your mere skin is just style and trendy. If I got a ready, don't know. In the place, in the building, in the jacket, shower, in the daddy, 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 Jennifer, I'm not doing it. I give you shit. You said Jennifer, what? Oh my gosh. Some of those girls in my secondary school, so I say, Nadi, Nadi. Just remember that. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shabarans right there, three gold chains like a, like this was the ones that were wearing chains and rings no, that, yeah. before I yeah before, before before you started wearing it. Yeah, that, 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 okay yourself? that's why I can't remember the rapper that referenced it and I said three gold chains like I'm yeah. Shabba Shabba ranks, uh, five gold rings like I'm Shabba Shabba ranks. Yeah, so, like, so, so yeah. Shabba ranks. And it's not gold. It didn't mean that. Uh. Do you know that dance? <laughs> it was Pacha who went okay, down to this dance. Yeah. Murder, she so wrote. yeah, this was to this. Murder, she wrote. All right, guys. Thank you for staying here with us. I'm sure you're feeling the throwback jams, right? It's yes, taking sir. you way, way, way back. I mean, you're feeling it. Mm -hmm. That's what we're here for to entertain you. That's but what... right about now, it is time for Where Are They Now? Let's see who we're shining the spotlight on today. It's Stay here. It's Where Are They Now? Alexandra Burke. 
Alexandra Imelda Cecilia Ewan Burke is a British singer, songwriter, and actress who won the fifth series of the British television series The X Factor in 2008. Upon winning, Burke released the winner's single Hallelujah, which became the European record holder for the most singles sold over a period of 24 hours and became the top selling single of 2008 in the UK and the UK's Christmas 2008 number one. By 2009, the single had sold over 1 million copies in the UK alone, a first for a British female soloist. The singles released from the album Overcome earned her three Brit Award nominations. Now, fast forward to 2016, Burke commenced a 12-month residency in Sister Act the Musical. Then the following year, she took part in BBC show Strictly Come Dancing and also signed a record deal with Universal Music Group's Decca Records. Her third album, The Truth Is, was released in March 2018. And that was the last time we really heard anything of Alexandra Burke. However, in an interview on why she has been quiet, well, the British singer said for a while the entertainment industry demanded that she bleach her skin, not wear braided hair, and tailor her music to a white audience. Must have been tough. Well, now you know where they are now. And you know that these days, when you now say, they will not say that it is bumper to fender. And I'm not like, ah, please leave this bumper to bumper. Hello, the album is called Mushi to Moi. Yes, yes. Now, Mushi English. So, it's bumper to bumper, not the stress. So, 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 don't be stressing me. So, ah, will, it be, will it be interesting? If we were was like, bumper to fender. Maybe if that was oh. what he did and we did not know bumper to bumper, maybe we would not even have worried. Yeah. But, you know? But bumper but to bumper fender. Bumper to fender, so good. Even still, uh, oh, it's not good. Wale. Because some people that cannot pronounce Vina, they say fender. Okay. Please do it. Bumper to bumper. Okay, yeah. It's mushy English. Okay. Thanks. Mushy people. Oh, okay. Nari can be that too, not me. Um, I'm like, what no, is like that? No, like you're the one calling them out that is their English. No, I grew up in the tush part of mushy. There's a tush part. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> But we had the opportunity and the privilege, you know, to grow up in those environments, but we're always behind the door. Okay. <laughs> they still lock us, but we were in those I'm environments. I'm gonna get inside. So we know, um, <laughs> unfortunately, we're the I'm gonna get inside. But the streets, we always, the streets keep urging me to do more. Ah. ah. Oh. But Arike, did I ever tell you? I just saw somebody randomly, I didn't know him, and he just walked up to me and said, Ah, Arike, we grew up together in Click Up, please. <laughs> and yeah, let's like play. Um, yeah, let's like play. Like yeah, let's play. Yeah, let's play. Yeah, let's play. Yeah, let's play. I have a great time. I said, Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I do not even Bless know. Bless Nairia with a pack. I do not even know this place streets. that you're calling. Like, all this, like, that. you don't know this like, place. That's like some ghetto. Get <laughs> get <-o. laughs> they will drag you. I like many people. Where do you wish to grow? This one. I didn't grow up here now. This one. Hey, what, 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 what are you? Is this like Korodu? In Valencia. See, let us have beg Korodu boys. Let me tell boys. you one thing about Jojo. Was, you was always begging me that I should give him my car so that he will carry it inside what I'm going to in Korodu. I'm telling you. Because your car, is your car that fits that road? Not, my car doesn't fit that road. Okay. It's not that road. His car was very low. <laughs> Go. You know when you are driving Benz, you cannot take Benz to some places. Don't mind it. <laughs> Growing up, yeah. Growing up <laughs> is one memory everyone would always love to visit over and over. When we were young, innocent and free, that period when nothing else mattered to us except to eat, laugh and of course, play! Mm. <laughs> Today, we'll take a quick trip down memory lane and dive into those fun games we played back then as children. This. It's the little five. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. After round one. Original plan. Oh, to break it. Mama, get Okay. Mama, get that yourself. Okay. Um, you play this game with your finger. Yeah. You know? 
every player picks a number. Once you hear after round one, original panada extra otu bede. All right. If your number showed up on the table, you win. Crazy thing is, the last person standing is the loser, and he or she will get slapped in the hand by others that played the game. And that slap really hurts, though. You know the funny thing? Should I bust your uh, I know uh, how to do the hand thing, uh, and I know that it's a finger game, mm. but I honestly can't remember how we used to like rate it. Like, is it? <laughs> I, I I'm not, I kid you not. I'm uh, not joking. Uh, I really want to play right now. Uh, yeah, it's uh, five. So, who, how did you find the winner? So, I think we are, not, there's a particular number. We should not do five. Mm. Then, like, I don't forget. Yeah, that's it's right. It's just three. This one will do two. Mm. Whoever just then they'll not count it. Now do your hands. They will not be slapping. Do the slap. Then you will not be doing like this. You miss it. <laughs> and so after first three slaps, yeah, yeah. then you now start you to miss, miss it. it. And all Hot that. slap on what the really? hands. I'm going to try it. I'm going to play it. <laughs> Number two on our list, police and thief. Yeah, Yay. this was like Nigerian kids replicating action blockbusters. Um, this game starts with a selection of those who would make up the police squad and the thief uh, team based on alphabets picked on paper. They are the good guys police and they are the bad guys thieves, but the stolen object is always imagined. The fun starts when the police squad chases after the thieves and it gets more fun when the thieves escape and you have to chase them again with your stick used, used as, as gun. a gun. The sound of gunshot that was made with the mouth was just epic back then. Peace out! I don't like to watch I've, this, but I've I've I, you, I've like to, you. I don't like to play this particular one. But I've killed you now. You're supposed to die now. No, uh, actor will not die I, now. I, I still watch a skit, though. I saw it online, too. Oh those boys, what they are doing now, they are doing all those throwback games. And when they did that police and tip, you know, you know it's always turning five. Ah, but I don't shoot you now. You say you don't die. Why didn't you die? Why didn't you die? Why didn't you die? If you shoot my shoulder and I still move, it's my shoulder I used to collect. So the person that got up and said, ah, but I shot you, I shot you. You are supposed what to die. They know it's no, they know it's no past tense or present tense. I, I shoot you, I shoot you, I shoot you. Yeah, we, there's no I shot you. It's like I shoot you. It's I shoot you. But too. then, have you not done with some assault people before? And then we are not saying, ah, no, it's like I, I shoot you. It's not street that you're running. Nah, it's okay. <laughs> the streets keep bugging me to do more. <laughs> Hey, all right, let's talk about Tinko Tinko. <laughs> all right, involves two partners facing each other, exchanging hands in a rhythmic pattern while the theme song is done by both as the game goes on. Tinko 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 Tinko. The girls, especially, were good with this game. Very easy to play, but the higher the number, the likely your chance to miss it in this game. A lot of clapping happens. Yeah, yeah. Can you play? Tinko, yeah, Tinko hey, Tinko. Come on, come on, play the phone. On the pot, you do your hand like this. Tinko, 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 this is the only wow. opportunity I get to do that to Arike, yeah. But wow. it was a game. What did my... Okay, number four, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this one is called I Call On. Yes, this game is sweet and competitive. Love it. If you are called and the caller catch up with you, you will draw points. The person with least points loses, and the game brings out the running skills in kids back, back there. Then. I Call On, South Africa. So everybody Africa. knows that's going to be... So usually yeah. what they do is, for children like us that did not grow up where there was cemented floor, we now have chalk. Yeah, you just, if, you're, if you're living in a cemented distant environment, you use chalk, you use chalk <laughs> and then you put your own name. So it could yeah. be only part, OJ, this and that. I call on, you put your leg, it's like this. I, I call, call on, on you put your leg inside this. I call on, I call on, OJ. Everybody has to run. run. So OJ is going to go after you, and OJ is going to be like, stop. Wherever you are, you have to stop. Freeze. And I must catch up with you. Freeze. And <laughs> no, you have to count. You have to jump three. three steps, so yeah, if you're able step. to jump three steps and I catch, catch the, the person, person, yeah, the person, person will lose a point. So each person has, I think, 100% yeah. or something. Or sometimes yeah. you do degrees. You can do 360 degrees. True, true, and then true. like that, you keep dropping it to point. Fun I, games, I, this was one of my favorite. This and Sue. Mm -hmm. I love Sue favorite. too. I love Sue. This and Sue. Yes, I really love Sue. And um, the one I'm going to be talking about now is one that is like my favorite. Yes. 
different. This was popular among girls. They could form teams or play solo. The whole idea is to ensure you don't throw the same leg as your opponent. <laughs> ten ten involves a lot of hand and leg movements, clapping your hands against your partners in a fast rhythm and looking at it. It was uh, also a lovely, lovely way to exercise. Like that's in a cruise. So ten, this one, ten, I have to remove. Ten, I have to remove my shoes. Hey, Oh my God, I'm a mess today. Now I get to that it was really for exercise then because you are moving your legs. Yeah, moving. Your when legs. it gets to that point where you guys are like doing it together, so. Then it's not very, very fast. Always, yeah, fast. Always, always moving. Wow, fast. I can't believe that Love I actually it. lost home training, right? Yeah, right. it, honestly, it happens. It's I dressed Thursday. right for the show today. Like I look like Binta. <laughs> How you guys took me back to those Binta days? I had to of remove mine. my shoes. Do you want us I'd to... have actually done my hair this way. Do you actually. want us to do the tinkle tinkle? I'm not doing the tinkle tinkle again with you. The rings, man. The rings. Yeah, let's. Yeah. All right, guys. I really enjoyed today's <laughs> daily top five, and I know that most of you are like just reminiscing, like, oh. We I play really video like, oh, games now. We don't do any of those things, man. No, we I would make sure. In all honesty, I would make sure that my children actually play ah. some of these games. Honestly, because we, they we, form, we they games. made my childhood very interesting. And it's the reason why. I really we love what I did. Sure, are you sure that they will find it interesting? Because yeah. even when you talk about, you know, way back now, yeah. they tell you that, but they yeah. find what they're doing right now interesting. No, so my children will compare. Oh, you want some of <laughs> Guys, it's on Daily Top 5. We'll go on this quick commercial break. <laughs> I'll be right back. My children, can dance on board. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, yes, y'all, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are done with Throwback Tuesday, TBT. Oh. Tuesday or Thursday, darling? Oh. You want to go back to Tuesday? I'll leave you there. Okay, I will not go back in Jesus' name. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we are done with Throwback Thursday, TBT. Hope you guys enjoyed every bit of the show. But we got to go. We got to go. But not to worry. There's still more in store for you guys tomorrow. My name is OJ, and I did this alongside uh, Oni Pizu for Shizu, Manizu, and of course, Arike Dimpu. Fly game. Yeah, we sign out with the birthday man, Adewale Ayuba. Peace out. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. Hey.